Let's go ahead and age up a little prim from a little purple of rue into a toddler. And oh my gosh, look. Look at her little face. Hey my little Peacherunies, welcome back to a new video, welcome to 2021. First video I've recorded this year, I hope you guys had an amazing Christmas and um, happy new year to you guys as well. If you are making any new year's resolutions, if they're any sim based new year's resolutions as well, let me know them in the comments below. My new year's resolution is I want to try and get back into yoga, so I'm setting myself a goal of two yogas per week, it's low, so if I go above it I feel good and if I only just achieve it I still feel good, so it's a bit of a realistic goal, a realistic goal there. But let me know what your guys' New Year's resolutions are as well. Also, a big thank you to you guys for your patience in my uploads of Christmas and also the little gap I had recently. As I mentioned to you guys, we've had some bad news in the family. We got a little bit more bad news along the same vein over Christmas. It's just been a bit of a difficult Christmas for myself and my family. So being able to take a step back from the internet and knowing I have you guys to come back to has, has been really nice. So thank you guys so much for your patience and for your support. And let's get into today's video. So we are back with Kiyoshi, with um, Scala and with with Lil Bubble of Rue, um, who I think Wow, Prim. I called it Prim Rose. I think you guys kind of like the name. Obviously, with the baby, we can't be in a vacation home, so I can't have them in the White House for this. But what I'm gonna suggest is that we play as a little bit of they want some time away from the spotlight for their baby's like first couple of days in the world. They don't want to be in the White House, they want to be somewhere nice and quiet, away from the press, away from the stress. So that is what we're gonna be doing in today's episode. And if you guys have had an amazing Christmas and you're excited for 2021 with more um, episodes in my not so very series, make sure you go ahead and smash that thumbs up button. Don't forget if you haven't already make sure you're subscribed and sometimes the notification bell even if you set it it unsets sometimes so just make sure that's on there and then you'll make sure that you never miss a video in this series and oh my gosh I feel like I've not oh no updated wonderful whims I will update that before the next episode but I feel like I've not heard this music in absolutely ages and oh my gosh should we get a joke from Kyo should get a joke from his mum back in Japan why did the old man fall into the well because he couldn't see that well did I make you laugh mum you make horrible jokes but you've messaged me out the blue and that makes me smile so we'll say a little cheeky yes and here is a little bubble of roo so I was checking in the comments a lot of you guys liked prim there were hunger games vibes going on with Prim. Some of you guys are suggesting Summer. I've obviously already had a sim called Summer, so I'm not really like, I'm happy to keep her as Prim. I like the name Prim. I like names based on plants. Like, they make me happy. They make me just feel like all like planty and nice. So I do like that name. And we are back in the apartment. Why are you having a little bit of a meltdown? You're having an emotional meltdown. Why? <laughs> You're really happy. Birthday was fun as heck. You're moving on up. You got promoted. You're welcoming a new life. You've just got a new bubble root. Why are you having an emotional meltdown? I do not know. I think it's because she is a notable new newcomer and one of her quirks that she's earned is an emotion bomb. I can send her to a little bit of like a spa day to help her get over that which honestly I'm kind of tempted to do because the emotional meltdown can kill you. Also she's just given birth like if there was any time when she deserved where is it? Deserved a little bit of time off wait is it lifestyle? No it's not lifestyle coaching that allows you to remove a lifestyle I'm sure there's one that lets you remove like a quirk but I can't remember how to do it. Let me just google it real quick ordering a celebrity cleanse from the celebrity's phone. Maybe it's because the time. Maybe I have to wait. Okay, I'm gonna try again tomorrow because honestly, I find it very, very frustrating. And Kiyoshi, you're being cute, texting mom and all, but we do have a little crying babalaroo here. The other thing is, oh my gosh, sorry, the noise, the babies in the Sims hall. I just can't, okay, I just can't. So the other thing I need to do is make sure the grandparents are super involved with little babalaroo's lifestyle. Obviously, as a politician, even if you have a babalaroo, you can't just like suddenly drop everything. So I am gonna send her into work tomorrow. Kiyoshi also is wanting to try and like, you know, get on the ladder as a little bit of a, um, a, um, wow. Well. I don't say the word. A athlete while he's here as well, because he always wanted to become a snowboarder, but obviously he's in the wrong place. Why is that dog sleeping next to the urn of their dead dog, Cookie? I think it was a dog, maybe it was a cat. I do not know. I kind of low-key forgot about Dilbert. Dilbert, who's so freaking cute. I love our little presidential dog. So what I will do is I will invite over Minzy tomorrow, and I will temporarily add her to the family each day so that her and Chris, because I'll just invite him over afterwards. I don't want to invite both of them in case they lose the house, but so that they can spend a bunch of time with Prim because that is part of the Not So Berry Challenge. And ooh, Scarlet, it's me, Kabir. Do you want to go on a date? Um, 
no thank you. I have a boyfriend. I know we're not married or anything, but we're pretty serious. Also, why are you feeling sick? You also fell. Why, why are you feeling so ill? Why are you feeling so ill? Don't you dare be having any more other babalaroos. Am I gonna have to go do a little sick? What I might have to do is get her. I don't think you can actually do this, but I might change in cuss the next time I'm in cuss. I might make it so that, oh, she's drunk. Okay, fine. <laughs> That's better than pregnant, you know? Might make it so that she can't have babies anymore because part of the Nuts of Berry Challenge is you can't have any more babies. Like it's a one babalaroo situation. So, oh, Dilbert hates the laptop. Oh, babes, no. Why don't we calm down Dilbert and then see if he would like to go on a little walk for himself. I have issues with walks in Sims. Sometimes they never actually do the walk. It's really hit or miss. 50% of the time it works and the other 50% of the time it doesn't. Also, I kind of feel like Dilbert needs a bath. Is it just me or is Dilbert looking a bit stinky? I feel like he is. And oh my gosh, yes. Look at this. She's had a baby. She's drunk. She's dancing to easy listening in her suit. She's just loving life. What an absolute queen. I love her. I'm also super intrigued to see how little Prim is gonna look. I can't imagine a meld of like Scarlett's jeans and Kyoshi's. I feel like Scarlett ended up different looking to Minzy, but still very similar. And you can see a bit of Chris in her, but not to the same extent you can with her sister. So I kind of feel like it was a nice blend. I'm interested to see what kind of a blend little Scarlet is gonna be. Okay, why don't you do some drunk cooking? That's always a smart idea. Oh, sorry to come by and announce, but I couldn't wait any longer because I just wanted to see a baby. Do you need any help? You just give birth. You should be resting. Well, Kyo, she didn't give birth, babes. I did. However, that is absolute top tier cuteness. If you want to come and meet the baby, you are more than welcome to. <gasps> I love that. That is part of the... Oh, what mod is that? I feel like it's a Kawaii Stacy mod that does that. Is it Slice of Life? It might be Slice of Life or it might be Realistic Reactions as well. But I really like that because parents do like, parents are as itching to come around and meet the baby and help out. So that's lovely. And has the dog walk worked? Okay, it had stopped working in the White House, but the good news is it does work in the city. So that's really nice. And that's little Dilbert with these little, little cute polka dots on looking like Minnie Mouse. I love that. Kyoshi and Dilbert, Dilbert are now friends. Is it good friends or friends? Just friends. Okay, that's fine. Oh, and he did his little outside wee-wees. Good doggy. Okay, the baby's crying. I'm like, oh, oh, it's a dog. So cute. I love you, little dog. Meanwhile, the baby's at home, probably dying. Oh, and this is why we don't ask Scarlet to cook. They look disgusting. Okay. <laughs> and oh my gosh, the baby's just crying and I'm like, change the diaper. I mean, it did say she wasn't maternal. I wasn't expecting it to be this a maternal though. She's just like, oh my gosh, babies. Babies are so annoying and I'm so beautiful. I just don't even want to like, bleh. Oh my gosh, please just change this diaper. What are you doing? What's going on? I think I'm going to have to bring Kiyoshi home because she's just staring at her. Babes, what's going on? What? Like, go over here for a sec. Oh, I see you're not doing anything. We're having a little bit of a freeze for ourselves, are we? Wonderful. Lovely. Oh, there we go. I, like I said, it was the walk. It was because I had to send Kiyoshi home from his walk. Something about walks in my game just freezes everything. I swear. Oh, and also Grandad's just come in and broken the laptop. Good job, Grandad. <laughs> so bless him. Kiyoshi's dad has somehow forced these disgusting tacos in his mouth just because he doesn't want to make me feel bad about my terrible cooking. However, it is 1.20 a.m. in the morning, so I am gonna lovingly tell you to get out of the house. <laughs> oh, look, he's like, I really should get going now. I didn't even need to kick him out, which is lovely. Why have you just got straight out of bed? You have to go do some stretching. At 2 a.m. in the morning. Girl, what are you doing? Get back into bed. And where is Dilbert? <gasps> Wait, where's Dilbert doesn't have any stuff. Dilbert, no wonder he's sleeping outside. <gasps> Since we moved into the apartment, I didn't get him anything. Oh my gosh. Oh, what? Look at all this stuff as well. What? And there we go. Dilbert's got his own little bed now. Oh, and Babalaroo is crying. I've got to like wake up and run the country. You got to wake up and flex like your muscles. So I kind of feel like this is on you, Kiyoshi. I'm sorry. Also, I'm not meant to be very maternal. I don't know why I always adopt them as myself. Like, oh, uh, Minzy was me and no Scarlet's me. And Prim, one day you you too will be me. But it's just easier to talk that way, isn't it? He gave me a look of disgust in bed there. But he was like, fine, I will get up and I will feed La Babalaroo. I'm kind of feeling like, oh, I was going to say we need a feature wall, but we do have this. I'm kind of bored of this wallpaper. I might go a little bit more, you know, we're going to be here for a little while. So I want to go a little bit more baba boom with the walls. Okay, so we're going to be heading into work today. Kyoshi, you're going to be doing the same. So before we do, I need to go ahead and invite around Minzy Moo so that I can like add her to the family each day. There she is. And so that she can start to form a super close bond. Ooh, why are you miserable? Back pain. Oh, Jesus. 
You're meant to be looking after a baby all day and you've got back pain. Okay, I feel kind of bad. But you and Prim are going to be forming a very, very close bond. Also, you're helping us tidy around the house. Such a cutie pie. But she's got nine days left. So, you know, we're going to have to definitely make the most of her time. I don't know how long until Prim grows up. But I kind of wanted them to spend, like, a bit of, like, toddler and child time together as well. Because I feel like I need Minzy's, like, love of science to rub off on her. And I thought that maybe when those guys go around go off to work and stuff. Oh, Kiyoshi, you sleeping in, babes. When those guys go to work and stuff, maybe when she's a little bit older as a child, she can go around to her grandparents to, like, spend... Like, I used to go to my grandma's, like, twice a week. Every Monday, every Thursday, I'd be there from the minute I left school until, like, well into, like, the evening. And it was really nice. Like, I loved spending that time with my grandma, so I want to do something similar for these two. It's also part of the challenge, but it's hard to do when Prim is still a little babalaroo. So I'm kind of tempted to age her up a little bit prematurely. I was gonna say, let me know what you guys think, but I'd be doing it before the episode went out, so I have to decide for myself. Oh, and she's playing a bit of Sims while the baby sleeps. Love that for you. Oh my gosh, Sims won. Oh, the best. And I feel bad about her back pain. Like, can I not get one of those chairs that, like, vibrates and, like, sorts your back out? Or, like, you know, we are the prime, bit, prime president of the free world, leader of the free world. I feel like I should be able to get her, like, a little massage table and get someone to come and give her a little massage. Like, what's this? Happy hands and feet. Now, bun that. We want full, full massaging. I feel like, yeah, Minzy would be like, Mom, if your back hurts, just get someone round. Get yourself a little massage. Oh, Minzy has work in an hour. Minzy, babes, no. No, no, no. If anyone should have retired at this point, it's you. Go ahead and retire. Hi, babes. Kyoshi's headed in as well. So grandma's here looking after the bubbies. I might invite Chris around to spend a bit of time as well. Chris, who's apparently got blonde. Oh no, I made his hair gray. I thought he'd got like little blonde, you know, frosted tips for a minute there. Okay, so she's retired as an extraterrestrial explorer. Okay, get the works, mom. Get the whole stone massage and everything. Okay, Chris is gonna come around as well. Okay, Scarlett wants to impress a boss for promotion. What boss? <laughs> she's the fleet of the world. I guess it is the public, you know? The people of the sim world. How should she do that? What about a nice side project on like her green initiative? I think that would be a good idea. <gasps> Performance gain large. She takes the initiative on a complete. Oh my gosh, mum. <gasps> Mom, you've got the zibbity zabbity you've got zebra disease. Oh, geez, that does not look good. Oh, bless her. And also, why have you got your whirly bobs on the massage table? I don't know. But she takes initiative into an often overlooked side task that nobody else will take. This is thanks to good old God rest his soul. What is his name? Knox. This is Knox Greenberg. He's rubbed off on her for her entire life. Everyone is surprised to see the task finally completed. Most of all, the people of the sim world who are are quite impressed to the tune of a near promotion perhaps. I mean, she's already level 10, but whatever. Large performance gain. We can probably ask for a little bit of a pay rise from that. And bless the little mum. Look, this is sorting her back right out. It's dropping it down there. This is so nice, because if you're going to be picking up babies and toddlers, the last thing you want is a bad back. I know this as somebody who, I swear everyone in my family has bad backs. We are just a family of bad backers. And baby is awake, so is Chris here? Chris, Chris, I invited you around, babes. Where you are? <gasps> Look at him. They're such babby parents. He's in here sorting out the toilet that we did have a little puke when we were drunk there. Hopefully he does the sink afterwards. They're like super helpful parents. I love that. Kyoshi's are the same. He was like coming to help out with the baby as well. I love a supportive family network. Things that we love to see. <gasps> and the massage just started, started out with stripes as well. Jeez, what magic is in them stones? How are you even getting to them with all that hair? I don't know. Also, I kind of feel like for Scarlett, she'd be a short head in elderly stages. But for Minzy, she kind of always had this like free long crazy hair which she tried these different styles so i thought i'd keep her hair long for adulthood and look at that hot and happy the warm of the stones the smooth from a thousand years of erosion pleases the body i'm glad thank you so much for the massage i'm gonna place this back in my inventory because in the middle of the floor and i'll be seeing you i guess bye oh he's off good you love it when they don't overstay their welcome you know dilbert's outside dilbert come inside babes what's wrong with you do you hate the baby he won't come in is dilbert stuck dilbert how did you even get there I think Dilbert's stuck. Oh no. I'm gonna have to teleport him. There we go. Dilbert's back. Okay, let's give good old Dilbert a bath. Oh, no, baby's crying. Babalaroo comes first. Baby's hungry. And I'm really tempted to just go ahead and age up now, you know? Because I want her to spend as much time as possible. And she's only got nine days left. And we got bills. We do got bills. Oh, look, Prim is already good friends with Minzy. Yes, I love that. Oh, I'm desperate to see how she looks. I kind of hope she's got a lot of Kyoshi in her, just so that she ends up looking a little bit different to Minzy. 
Lindsay and Scarlett, but we shall see. I find that the sim gods, when it comes to blending genetics, they're not great. You either look identical to one, identical to the other, or you get one feature which doesn't fit the face. Like, I feel like if they get, like, their dad's chin on, like, a little girl, it can sometimes look a little bit strange. And genetics in real life, although they can do that, you tend to get a little bit of a softer blend. The Sims does not do that. It likes to do a good, harsh, old-fashioned blend. And I feel like dad is, like... Wait, it's discovered programming in his old age. I was about to say, oh, God, he's on Facebook. He's on Facebook getting, like, reading weird stuff and going all conspiracy vibes, but he's not. He's programming, which I think is lovely for him. Well done, dad. Oh, you're feeling flirty. Okay. Are we bathing Dilbert, though? No. There we go. Dilbert's getting his little bath. Oh, this was such a good idea. It would have been Kyoshi doing all... Oh, jeez. This stuff anyway, but I... Oh, mum. Those high heels in old age. Fair play to you. I kind of like this whole grandma vibes. I think it's really cute. Okay, Scarlet's... Oh, my gosh. She gets paid so well, and since she did so good at work, I feel like now is a good time to like suggest. I just want to see if she can try and negotiate this. I thought I'd wait for her to come home to age up because, like, you know, you at least want the parents there, don't you? Oh my gosh, she did, she did, she got it. Oh. Wow. Why does it keep saying I need to be promoted? I'm like national leader plus one. Kyoshi works till five. Oh, bless him. Okay, I definitely don't think Kyoshi would want to miss this, so I will make sure he can get home too. And even with the dog bed, Dilbert just keeps wanting to sleep by this urn. I can't decide whether it's really cute or a little bit weird and creepy. However, look how cute Dilbert is. This is making me want a Yorkshire Terrier. Like, I keep seeing them on dog walks and being like, they're so portable. I like how Lexi's portable because she's a pom. So I'm like, kind of want a portable little Yorkshire Terrier, you know? <gasps> I'm oh, he's been promoted to locker room attendant. Bless you. You've come to a whole new country, started a whole new career, and you're getting promoted. We love that for you. <gasps> and it's almost Prem's birthday. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do it then because uh, there's no reason to hold back. It's her birthday. Let's go ahead and age up a little Prem from a little bubble of into a toddler. And okay, brown eyes. We've got brown eyes. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. I actually have... An issue in my game where all babies have brown eyes. That is kind of annoying. Okay, let's just have a look at the challenge and we'll work out like what kind of traits we should be giving her. Okay, so Prim is generation three, yellow, so we're gonna have to give her blonde hair. Growing up, you didn't have a close relationship with your mother. You spent the majority of time you're alone in your room, obsessing over space. You just really love space. So clumsy, ambitious, and loner. Her aspiration will be nerd brain. Her career is gonna be astronaut. She needs to master the rocket science skill and the handiness skill. So we wanna try and, when we're at school, try and get, you know, the project where you make the rocket that would be really handy i think you can buy those actually I must build a rocket ship and visit six um enter the secret lot in oasis springs she needs max handiness as well never have any close relationships or relationships other than grandparent from generation one until the grandparent dies so this is the reason that i need Lindsay to be close to her okay so clumsy ambitious and loner i think for her kid then i might give her this independent her, her, her toddler stage it's either independent or inquisitive Curious explorers are independent. They love their freedom. Mm, I don't think she's gonna not take orders though. I feel like this fits her more. Inquisitive because she's gonna wanna learn about space. So boom, we've gone ahead and aged her up. Now let's go ahead and check her out in Cass. Now, Scarlet got the eyes of her parents' generation, but we would stick with green forever if we did that. So I think with this, with Prim, although she's gonna have blonde hair, she's gonna have to have like a bit of a tint of red to her eyes as like a homage to the generation before, which is Scarlet. Also, when we get to play in her a little bit more, i.e. when we finish her, everything to do with uh, Scarlet, which <gasps> she needs to get married as an elder. But when we do that, my lights behind will change to yellow. However, we are definitely still on Scarlet for now, so they will stay red for the time. I'm being. And yeah, all of my toddlers end up being born with these eyes. This is how she do be looking as a toddler. Very, very cute. I feel like she's got maybe a bit more Kyoshi skin tone. Is this a custom skin tone or is it an in-game skin tone? It's a custom skin tone. Okay. And yeah, all my babies get these eyes. And look, you see how I can't change the eye color? It's just a bug I have in my game. It's really annoying. But these are the eyes that Scarlet has. I guess these would be, they've got a bit of red to them or really red. But I think really red is a bit intense. I was trying to see if there was like a red with green combo, <laughs> which I think would be kind of cool. But I don't think that is. That's kind of ready green, but I'd want to add a bit more red to it. And I don't know if I have anything that does that. I mean, I could do like, you see how these are red and then I turn down the intensity a little bit. So it's just like a little bit. 
but it's still kind of red though. It's hard because I'm doing the whole vampire challenge on my second channel, vampire legacy challenge. So the last thing I want to do is make the baby look like a vampire in this series as well. So I think I will keep her here. I like that it's given her like the lighter eyebrows because she's already kind of looking quite fair. She's meant to be blonde. And then Scarlet has a few little freckle of Roonies. Kyoshi, however, has none. I feel like she's got Kyoshi's eyes potentially. Yeah, I feel like maybe she's got Kyoshi's eyes, which is really cute. So she's got really straight eyebrows. Okay. Look how straight. <laughs> Looks like Spock. Okay, let's get like some lashes and stuff on her and decide on some skin details. I'm gonna go a bit lighter on her lashes if she is blonde. I might go a bit lighter on the brows as well. I'm kind of deciding between this overlay and it's like tiny changes, but to me it's important, okay? So this overlay or this overlay. They're both really cute. That one is freckleless. That one has a few freckles. Oh man, I don't know. I don't know what direction to take her. I'm gonna keep freckles off for now. I always feel like this bit's so important because like the bits you put on them as a toddler, I, I wish the Sims kept like, because I feel like if you put freckles on a toddler, they don't, they're not always there as a child and that stuff really bugs me. But I think that like the features you give them as a toddler should like stay with them a little bit and change in shape over time. So this bit is important for me. I'm kind of feeling like I might give her little dimples. I just think it's cute. Really gentle little ones there. Okay. She's looking super cute so far. I'm gonna put all my usual little eye flicks on because I love doing this bit. Got this eyelid overlay. I don't know how it's gonna look when she's older but I'm gonna try on her as a toddler because I feel like Kyoshi has this eye overlay. That's why I'm kind of tempted to do it. Yeah, he does. He's got the same one. So I can give them the same eye overlay so that they'll have similar eyes. I'll see, we'll, we'll put it on her for a toddler and if I don't like it as a child, I can just take it off. And then blonde hair. Now I would really like to give her, like I feel like both the parents have dark hair. So I would prefer to give her dark hair. However, I'm gonna stick to my challenge rules because I kind of like, I like that everything's sort of decided for me and I just work within the framework. Uh, maybe something like that. I mean, that is a lot of hair <laughs> for a toddler. But I love these hairstyles. I just think they're so cute. Like she looks so pooky. But then also, do you remember Minzy started with this hair? That could be like a nice little homage to her grandma, having like the same hair as when we very first started this challenge with Minzy. She had this hair, I'm pretty sure she did. With a little yellow headband maybe. That could be cute. I also feel like she needs a little doady like that. That's pretty cute. And then a little Michi Machi outfit as well. Okay, we'll keep dressing her like yellow, right? I know you don't have to do this because it's the not so berry challenge, but I just kind of like it. And I also kind of feel like, you know, she's a leader of the Sim world's daughter. So she'd probably dress quite formal all the time. Although we already know that she's not in love with her life and status because she spends all of her time in a room. Now, because her dad's Kiyoshi, I am going to use the snowy, some of the snowy escape stuff for her outfits as well. So I put a little sleepwear as this, which I think is really cute. So I've given her a little hot weather outfit, a little sleepy wear and her day-to-day -day wear as well. And there she is, little Primrose Berry. And then while I'm here on Scarlet, I'm going to go ahead and set her to Sim will be able to neither no more babies no more babies from you thank you and good night and oh my gosh look look at her little face she is so cute. Okay, this is really... Oh, and straight away she wants to go and do stuff. Pick up. Teach to walk. Okay, perfect. This is kind of what we wanted to see. Is Chris here as well? Oh, no, that's Kyoshi there. See, I feel a bit bad for Kyoshi. I feel like Kyoshi would like to do all this stuff. It doesn't say anything about him not being paternal. So... I came to check up on you, Kyoshi. How are you feeling? Want to hang out for a little bit? Would you want to meet your uh, your granddaughter as well? Come on in. Because she's got both her grandmamas here as well. Because Oh, wow, you're in a bad mood. I'm not sure if I want you holding the baby if you'd be looking that mad, Megumi, but um, okay. Oh, wow, she's real mad. She kicked our bin? What? No, okay, I'm not sure if you're in baby mood right now. And now I'm kind of like, this really isn't set up for having a toddler, is it? But I don't think they can buy the other, the White House. What I thought I'd be able to do is move into the White House and keep working. However, I can't do that, which is super frustrating. I might have to just move them in there and give up the flat, but like... You hate to see it. You hate to see it because this is like, I'd have to cheat my way in there because there's no way I'd have enough money to do that. But if it's only a temporary thing and then when I move them out, I cheat away all the money, I'd get rid of it and give them back this 28K that they have already and they can go and move. I mean, they did promise that they'd move back to Japan. So maybe they can do that after she's done a few terms. I think that's the way I'm going to have to do it because there's not enough room here for a top. I mean, I could rearrange stuff, but the whole point of being president of the Sim world is you're meant to live in the White House, you know? She's 
got the imagination skill already. Oh, what a baby. Oh, we're reading to her. And she gets to sit next to her dad. So that's cute. Oh my gosh. I really hope she gets a lot of Kyoshi in her. What would you guys prefer to see? More of a Scarlet Prim or more of a Kyoshi Prim? Let me know in the comments below. She's so cute though. You can already tell she's going to be a real little sensible head, can't you? Little, little brainy baby. Okay, so I'm going to have to move these guys into the White House. We'll change this lot type to residential. So they should be able to move into there now. Oh my gosh, I'm excited to move back into this house. And oh, where did the bedroom go? I'm going to have to remake that whole bedroom. Oh my gosh, no, no, no. Okay, that is not what I wanted to hear at all because I did levels with the bathroom and... <gasps> okay, whatever. That's probably when I lost my game last time. Yeah, this is when I lost my game last time. Boo! Okay, I won't sit and bore you with that. I will do that off stream and... Off stream, a lot, lot of streaming. And we need to make a toddler room and a butler room, I think I had for this as well. So there we go, it's now residential. So move you guys into here. And... Bish, bish, bish. See, I would have needed 280,000 pounds. All I need to remember is that I only get 28k. When we leave the house, we get 28k. Unless we buy stuff for the house, like the toddler room, then we'll get a little bit less. But we're walking away with 28k, which is not going to get as much in Japan, to be fair. We'll work something out. Don't worry. Oh, and I have to say, it's a bit grayer looking here. The spring in Britchester is not quite as cute as the spring in San Myshuno. Uh, but never mind. We are back in the White House and we can still work from here. So this is all perfect. We've also got mom, Minzy with us to help look after Prim. What I will be doing is sending her back home like to and fro every day. And how many days of toddlerhood do you actually have, babes? you got five. And Minzy has... She's got nine days left, so I can't do a whole toddlerhood. I might cut it down from five days. Oh my gosh, what's this rig up? I may have cut it down from five days to a little bit less time. Maybe like a three-day toddlerhood. But either way, I'm going to make sure that Minzy spends an absolute bunch of time with her. And like teaches her a load of the stuff because Scarlett's president, she's busy. And it's important for the challenge for these guys to be really, really close. In fact, for the challenge, Prim is not meant to be close with anyone until Minzy dies, which is really going to affect her. I feel like that's gonna hurt her like she'll be thinking about that throughout her whole childhood. Although they don't actually have any sentiments yet. I actually don't know if toddlers can get sentiments but they're already good friends so fingers crossed they can do. And I think uh, Minzy will already be like the book she's reading her will be like space themed books or she'll be reading about cute little baby aliens or something so that when we decorate little Prim's room we will be seeing a room that is space themed which obviously goes well with her wanting to become an astronaut one day. So let me know what you guys think of little Prim herself. Oh, she's so cute. I love toddlers in this game. I love their big, huge eyes. I feel like when they become children, less cute. Honest to God, gotta say, less cute. However, um, when they're toddlers, absolutely adorable. So let me know what you guys think of her. I will keep switching up her hair and stuff as we've done with all of our characters. For like the whole of Not So Berry, there's been a whole range of hairstyles, which I've really enjoyed doing. But I wanted to do a little bit of a Minzy homage for this first one. So let me know what you guys think of that idea. Let me know if you are happy that we are back in the White House. Don't worry, I won't let them keep all this funds because it is meant to be a legacy challenge. So we will reduce them back down again so that they can do the whole move to Japan after she's done a few terms. Also, how long should I do us a few terms? I'm kind of thinking that we do it until she becomes an elder. Well, she's still a young adult. How long are my Sims lives? I might have to tweak that as well and turn that down. When she's an elder, obviously that's when she'll get married to Kiyoshi, but also I feel like that is a good time to drop the whole presidential vibe as well. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode. I will be decorating the house before the next one so that everybody has a place to stay. Minzy will be keep moving in between households so that she's not constantly in this one, but she's going to be spending an absolute bunch of Prim's childhood here at the house looking after her as part of the challenge which I hope you guys will enjoy as well and I will see you in another episode thank you so much for watching bye